Uh, Jim, I, you know, with the growth of government in our society and uh, people demanding more government, I, I, I think it's a kind of interesting idea to think about what is the legitimate role of government in a free society. Have you ever given that any thought? Oh, I've given that a lot of thought, and I agree fundamentally with you that uh, we don't think nearly enough about it, especially the general public doesn't think enough about it. Uh, I'm not one of those, as you know, I'm not one of those uh, anarcho-capitalists who, who sort of thinks that uh, there's no role for government. Uh, in one sense, I'm a philosophical anarchist, but on the other hand, I think government's absolutely necessary, but it's necessary in a limited way. Mm -hmm. uh, I go along very much, I think, with the uh, sort of James Madison view that the, that the role of government, and particularly the central government, uh, is to sort of provide the parameters within which we play the economic mm -hmm. uh, political game. That is, that's the reason I, you know, of course, stress this, this emphasis on the constitutional rules. We need to have fairly fixed, uh, stable structure of, of law and property and contract. Uh, plus a few other governmental functions, but all of those are kind of parametric functions within mm -hmm. which we play. And and the the, the real problem of, of of this century or and earlier has been the idea that somehow government can go beyond that and and manipulate and control mm -hmm. and manage uh, not only the economy but all other aspects of our life. Or, or whatever suits the will of yeah. a of a majority, exactly. a political majority, exactly. which is really. Uh, stands in the face of what the Founding Fathers thought Absolutely. when they said, Absolutely. well, we're going to limit the government to do yeah. certain things yeah. that, that's expressed exactly. in the Articles of the exactly. Constitution. And, I, and if I'm, I'm at a loss to try to understand how did Congress uh, escape these limitations that uh, were uh, originally imposed on them? No, I think that's, that's a fascinating question, and I don't know that we have any answers. It more or less, uh, you know, as you know, people have tried to explain why this happened. Uh, there were some watershed, um, there were some watershed events. Of course, we fought a bloody uh, civil war, and that removed the threat of secession. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as states could threaten secession as a potential possibility, that automatically sort of put a check on the central government. Uh, once that was gone, uh, then um, the, the sort of general philosophy in the last part of the last century, in the early years of this century, was uh, for limited government. You remember Grover Cleveland vetoed a bill to provide seed corn to the Midwest farmers because yeah. the federal government couldn't do that. That That's wasn't right. constitutional. And, um, and by the way, these yeah. questions never yeah. come up in Congress today. That That's is, right. Uh, That's they, right. They never, they, we're never asked the question, yeah. well, is this constitutional? Right. They just say, well, can we get a vote on exactly. it? Exactly, exactly. And, and uh, we find, uh, as you were suggesting, that the Tenth Amendment is virtually meaningless mm -hmm. uh, nowadays. I try yeah. to think yeah. of one thing. I, I, I would imagine that a lawyer might get, be disbarred yeah. for bringing up the Ninth or Tenth Amendment. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> And uh, you don't find amongst the legal scholars anybody except Richard Epstein who even, uh, Epstein who even talks about those kind of problems anymore. Uh, but then we got this sort of progressive movement around the turn of the century, and then that was finally put in play uh, in the debacle uh, that we went through in the New Deal, where they were just searching around for everything. And as, as uh, Jonathan Hughes, an economic historian, once mm -hmm. said, the main uh, thing the New Deal did was invent new ways to spend money. That's you right. got this whole threshold leap. And we've been living with that ever since.